Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Cuteness on a Leash. This is Mac. Mac is a five-year-old Shih Tzu mix. A very sweet, very loving, loves to be with people. He does need some house training, but he's great with kids. He's good with most dogs. He is heartworm positive in being treated for heartworm, which means that for a period of time he can't be allowed to exert himself and run and be wild much as he really wants to. Um, so he has to have a quiet home for a while, and then after the heartworm treatment is over and he shows up clean on his heartworm test, then he can romp and run like he really wants to. But he's as cute as can be. He's small. He's no shed. He's outgoing. He has an absolutely wonderful face and a beautiful, bodacious temperament that only wants love. His name is Mac. He's as cute as a little guy could be, and every bit is loving. This is Farah. Farah is a four-year-old female Amstaff, yes, the notorious pit bull, uh, who loves to be around people and is a waggy. I'm telling you, I'm going to read this directly. Farah is a waggy wiggler when she meets you. She was re rescued from a neglect situation, severely underweight. She is still underweight. She's got to put on some weight. Uh, but and she's you know, eating well here, but certainly so happy to be around people. She just loves everybody she sees. She's not good with other dogs. She has to be an only. So if you're looking for one sweet, loving, beautiful, friendly, outgoing, cuddly, wonderful little dog who has, happens to be burdened with the name of a breed that scares many people. There's nothing scary about Farah. All there is with Farah is a bunch of black love. She is sleek, shiny, black, elegant, and she is a ball of love. You're looking at Farah. This bouncy little girl is Evangeline. She's a two-year-old Chihuahua mix. Um, seems shy at first in new situations, but once she gets to know you, she is outgoing and loving and cuddling and happy. And man, she doesn't look at all shy to me until she probably sees the camera and will panic. Uh, she is good with kids, but they say older kids because she is so tiny and fragile. She probably needs some house training. Most of these little dogs, when they come in, do. But she's a ball of energy. She is sweet, she is outgoing, she is friendly, she likes to be cuddled, she loves to be petted, she likes to be hugged. She doesn't hold still for a minute. Yep, there she is. Come, 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 I want to be hugged, I want to be cuddled. So if you're looking for a little lap dog, a little cuddler, a little lover, who will absolutely worm her way into your heart, Evangeline is waiting for someone to come, take her home, and just love her. The dog you're looking at now is Neville. Neville is a two-year-old neutered male beagle. Very small for a beagle, actually kind of tiny, uh, but very, very cute. He's all smiley. He loves it when you come. He likes to be carried, but he's extremely nervous on a leash. He's never been taught how to walk on a leash, so you'll see he gets carried. Um, when he's off the leash, he's all over the place running around and playing, so he needs lots of training probably some house training, definitely leash training, but what he needs more than anything else, this little guy, is lots of patience. The love is there. The sweetness is there. The happy beagle temperament is there. But he's never been taught to be a dog. He has to learn to be a dog. He has to learn how to walk on a leash, go for a walkie with you. He has to learn how not to potty in the house. He's got a lot of things to learn. The one thing that you cannot teach him because he already knows is how to love, give love, and how to want love. That's all this little guy wants is someone to give him the love that he needs that will fulfill him. And he will do anything, learn anything you want to teach him as long as you just love him. His name is Neville. The dog you're looking at now is Elliot. Elliot is an, about a year and a half old neutered male pug mix. Pug and something, but we don't quite know what. Um, it's a high-energy dog. He certainly loves to run. He loves to romp. He loves to play. Uh, yeah, he loves to jump on you. The tail never stops wagging. He is as happy a dog as you would ever see. Um, he does well with other dogs. He is house-trained. He would be great with kids. It's a great size. He's not too big. He's not too small. 
He wants to be loved. He wants to be petted. But mostly he'd like to be out running and romping because it's hard for him. As high energy as he is, you're choking yourself, silly dog. Come on, let's go out there where we can see you. As, as high energy as he is, it's hard for him to be in a cage. So he's just too, too happy to be out and running and playing. He's cute as he can be. He's an ideal size, fits an apartment, fits a house. If you've got the energy to keep up with Elliot, Elliot has the energy to keep up with you. Sweet, loving, friendly, secure, outgoing, and adorable. Um, this is a real lover of a dog, and he's looking for a forever home. This little girl is Suzy Q. She's about six years old. She's a spayed female chihuahua. You come up to Suzy Q and say, hi, sweet dog, and she'll roll over on her back and say, give me belly rubs. She loves to be held. She's good with older kids. Again, this is another one of the little ones that probably needs some house training. Um, and she is just a tiny, and she is little, tiny little sweet, loving dog. <laughs> lots of energy, lots of play in her. She'd do well with almost anyone. All she wants is somebody who will just say, pick me up, hold me close, rub my belly, and love me. And if you're looking for a sweet little girl to be your special lap warmer and your heart warmer, she's waiting for you. She's Susie Q. This is the last dog we're going to show you today, and this is our special needs dog. Her name is Kylie. She is three and a half years old. She is a spayed female, purebred Great Pyrenees. Came from a home. Owners had to give her up. And she's missing that home so dreadfully that she's refusing to eat. And she doesn't want to play. And she doesn't want to interact. She just lays in her corner and stares at the door and waits endlessly for an owner who will not come back for her. She's a big, sweet girl, mellow, walks well on a leash. She's housebroken, good with kids. She needs a home because right now all she is is sad and lonely and frightened. She's waiting and waiting for her people, and her people just don't come. And they won't come, and she will wait. She's losing weight. She's not eating. They can't get her to play. It's just tragic to look at a dog who is so immersed in grief because she is so loving, and she has no place to put that love. She's lost her family. And what she needs is another family. She needs to feel safe. She needs to feel secure. She needs to feel like she's got a place where the people will care for her and she will love them back. Her name is Kylie. She is staying in a cage at Save a Pet and she is grieving. And she desperately needs someone to take her out of the shelter and into their hearts. Once again, this is Kylie. Save a Pet is absolutely loaded with beautiful, loving dogs and cats. Their futures depend on you. If you have room in your heart and your home, please come out. Please adopt one of these wonderful dogs.